Alright guys, I don't think I actually started the vlog yet today, so uh, here we are. Welcome to 414. It is 3.06 p.m. I'm over here at Kenan's house. I'm just picking him up. We're going to go over and do the install of what came for the car today. The second part was uh, originally supposed to come Wednesday, and then I got the tracking confirmation. Then they said Tuesday. I looked at it this morning during my off period, and it said the 30th. So I went home, and it was there. Um, so watch the video if you want to know how to install that and wire it up and stuff. But uh, it's in the trunk. I'm picking up Kenan. He's going to be my camera guy. We're going to film on the 4S because it has better macro focus and it's 1080p. Uh, so we're going to go and do that now. So we're over at Kenan's house and they're moving so you can see everything they have here in the garage. And Kenan will tell you that's about as full of shit as that. Alright, so we just got done filming everything uh, over here. I ended up installing the garage home link in here. I think a couple of you knew I told Colt and Bobby and some other people. But that's up there and that definitely looks nice now. And we actually came over here to program it to his garage because I had already programmed it to mine and I'll do the grandparents on uh, Saturday. So that's done. That probably added $5 in value to the car. Great news. All right, hey, it is that time of the day again. It's about 11.30 p.m. You guys see the moon up there? It's the only thing that's light in the sky. It is, uh, looks just like a smiley face, except it's tilted about 20 degrees. So that's cool, I guess. But uh, it was pretty cloudy here, and then it completely cleared out maybe an hour or two ago. I can see all the stars. I know the flip would never pick it up. But uh, whenever I'm out here at night, if I come over here and stand in the big part of my driveway, I can actually look up and see the Big Dipper, which I guarantee the camera can't see. But uh, that's pretty cool. So that is to my, see, the house space is due north. That is to my southwest, closer to west. That's pretty cool, so that's out there. Um, it is about 45 degrees out here. It was 48 a while ago, now it's 45. And I think this is a trend everywhere right now. The weather around here, just the kind of winter that we're having this year, is so odd and out of place from most of the winters we have. Usually we have 50 inches of snow. We've had this conversation before, I know. But uh, we really haven't had anything. And even up in Canada, it snows a couple days, they get like three inches, the roads are bad, and then there's four or five days of 40s and 50s and rain. It's just a really odd winter, fall, spring mix that we're getting. And that's fine with me. If, if we hit March and it starts to warm up, and by May we're uh, you know, in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, hopefully 60s and 70s, because that's what we usually have. But if it's like last year and it keeps snowing until... Um, into May, I'm gonna have a problem with that, and I'm gonna bitch all I can, and you know me, I can bitch a lot. And I'm just walking around out here, I mean, I'm leaving my house, it's pretty damn nice out here. And tomorrow's supposed to be, I think, 54 and sunny, so that's gonna be great. Talk to Kenan, um, we're talking about taking the bikes out. Two years ago, the first time we went out was February 1st. It was 70 degrees on February 1st. And it isn't odd that we have unusually nice weather, but it's usually a day and then we're back into the 30s and 40s like we usually are in February. Um, so if we can get out tomorrow and, I don't know, 54, it depends. If it's a nice 54 and it's not too windy and it's, you know, not a, a wind chill of, of 30, then we may even get downtown. And if the sun's out and it's good, but maybe we won't. And I'm just looking up, it's completely clear, which usually wouldn't would mean that we're going to lose a lot of heat tonight, having no clouds to keep the heat in. Uh, but in this case, I feel like it's going to last overnight. Tomorrow's morning is supposed to be about 42 and, you know, adding 12 degrees to that during the day. So we'll see if we can pull the bikes out and that would be pretty cool to get out for the first time uh, in January. Last year, I want to say the first time we got out was, um, it could have been in February around the neighborhood or March or something like that. but. I'm getting more and more ready for spring every day. I'm not completely there. I miss the, the days when we have a snow day. I get up at 10 o'clock, I come downstairs, there's 12 inches of snow. I get to come out, it's just dead silent. I love that. I get to, get to come out, just blow the yard off, or blow the driveway off with the snow blower, which I've used like twice this year, and then go in and have hot chocolate and, and do whatever. But that really hasn't happened. So maybe I'll be using this before the snow blower. But this crock of crap still says it's 80 degrees outside and 45 here in the garage and it's about that outside as I said. Honda is still filthy. This isn't too bad. It, you know, maybe if it gets up pretty nice tomorrow I could pull it out. And I don't want to wash it because it's going to rain. 
uh, all day on Wednesday. So that would suck to have a clean car and then be driving in the rain again. But as you saw before and all you see now is a ceiling, I did get that Homelink garage door opener installed in there today. It was really easy install. It only cost me $166 to get both parts used and they're in great shape. Uh, the video install and how to and coding and everything is on, or programming of the home link to the head unit is now on the E39 source channel. So if you have any interest, check it out. Let me know what you thought. It was all done in 1080p on the iPhone. I think the recording actually looked pretty good, except it was colder this afternoon and I was shaking. I was shaking the camera guy. But ever since I've had this car, I've wanted to put that home link system in. I've always looked at them online and about 75% of them, well, between 50 and 75% have the garage door opener, which you can kind of see from here, and it's just a nice thing to have. And I used to keep both the garage door openers I used, and that's the ashtray, right over here in this little thing that zips up, and I have uh, both of them in there. Actually, I took mine out, because mine's all set. Mine's number one, Kenan's on three, and I'll put my grandfather's on two. I've got three buttons on um, Saturday. So that'll be really nice, add some functionality, maybe a little bit of value, I don't know. I don't know how much that option knew was new from Vactor. I think it was around 800 bucks, which is ridiculous. It's a shame it took this car 11 years and 11 months to get that option. However, thank you BMW for pre-wiring that. You know how to make stuff easy. Thank you, Germans. So real quick, somebody asked me uh, what future upgrades I have for the car that I want to do. In the spring, I already have them. I'm going to replace the M, the 5, and the BMW badge. Um, I may go with the newer style tail lights, which are LEDs. They've got four bars across like that. Mine are the old halogen ones. They don't look bad. They're in remarkably good condition. But the newer ones just look clearer and crisper and it looks, makes it look like a newer car. Now the uh, OEM BMW ones won't fit unless I were to drill a bunch of the stuff on the back on the frame, which isn't the problem as much as having the ballasts for the wiring that I would have to mount somewhere. And then all the instructions, they assume you don't have an M5, which means you have a spare tire back there instead of a tire bomb and I could put the ballasts in the center of the spare tire. Well, I don't have that. I don't have anywhere where I can mount ballasts and run wires where it wouldn't look like hell. So maybe I'll go with uh, higher quality aftermarket lights, but the problem with that is the aftermarket ones only have three lines across, and then they just don't look genuine and it doesn't look as nice as four. So I'm still thinking about that. Uh, aside from that, I don't really have a whole lot to do. I, a whole lot to do. I may go with the OEM headlights instead of the depots. I would do the newer style BMW, the white light instead of the yellow. That would be nice. I don't know if I can justify three thousand dollars in it, uh, but it would be an improvement. So we'll talk about that maybe, maybe, maybe this summer. I don't know. Interior work. I'm about done. Some new floor mats, and that's about it. So with that and all this talking and rambling out here, I do have to apologize, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this off now. Today was day 414. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I don't have anything really set now until uh, Friday, maybe Friday, Saturday. I don't really know. I just need to get through these weeks. I'm still waiting to hear from BMW North America, hopefully tomorrow, about those pixels on the dash. There's something else I'd be doing. Um, but we'll get through these weeks. We've got 44 days when you're watching this until spring break. And uh, I need, I, I don't feel like I need that this year as much as I did last year. Last year it was just killing me. We had a killer winter last year. Tons of snow and it was cold early. It stayed cold late. But this year I'm doing all right. I'm pushing through. 45 days, we can do it. With that, talk to you tomorrow. It'll be 44 days. Man, you can tell I want to get out of here, right? So, talk to you Tuesday. Good night.